Pastor John Hagee, in the smack dab middle of an old sermon of his, probably from around 2005 or so, is going to drop a bomb that I bet he wished nobody would find and nobody would bring up again. So listen closely to what he's saying. He's going to discuss how, according to the Bible, the re-emergence of the state of Israel is a sign that Jesus is coming back, and he'll tell you when. And Jesus said, now learn a parable about the fig tree Israel. When you see the branch began to bloom again, that means the tree is coming back to life again. You will know that my coming is even at the door. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away until all be fulfilled. This generation shall not pass away until all be fulfilled. In 1967, Jerusalem was united under the Jewish people. You add 40 years to 1967, and that's 2007. We're looking at the soon appearing of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus will be back soon in 2007. <laughs> what happened, man? Did he forget about us? Is he taking a detour? Did he stop off at Saturn to get some Starbucks? What happened? He's fucking seven years late. I thought you said, hey, he's coming back soon in 2007. Look, this is the thing about these fundamentalists that drives me crazy. There's always going to be fundamentalists and just people, even people who are lying and exploiting it to try to get power. I mean, a lot of these guys are like that, right? But the thing that drives me nuts is that to a lot of their followers, it doesn't matter when you prove that they're wrong about something. They just gloss over it. They act like, hey, it's a mulligan. Whatever. Everybody gets to miss one every once in a while. But wait, wait, wait. If he's actually this amazing pastor who has connect a connection with God and he's like a biblical scholar or whatever, then why wouldn't you assume that what he's saying to you, if it's right, it's right. Hey, around 2007, Jesus will be back soon. Look, this happened with Pat Robertson, too. Remember when Pat Robertson said before the last election, well, obviously Mitt Romney's going to win. He's going to win in a landslide. God told me, God told me Mitt Romney is going to beat Barack Obama in 2012. He didn't. But are there people still watching Pat Robertson's show? Yes. There are people in the country still watching Pat Robertson's show. They don't give a shit that he was wrong in his supposed conversation with Jesus. Okay? Clearly, he's lying to you. Pat Robertson is not speaking to God. John Hagee is not speaking to God. What John Hagee is doing is he's picking up the Bible, reading quotes, and then fucking doing his own mental gymnastics in his own mind to try to come up with goofy ideas and theories based off of ridiculous Bible quotes that he's interpreting literally, and he's making shit up in the process. If you can't figure that out, man, it's not just that you're ignorant. See, a lot of times when we go after conservative Republicans, for example, on the show, these politicians, a lot of the time I say, look, people can be ignorant, where if you explain to them the reality, they go, oh, okay, I see how that works. You proved it to me. Oh, that's your source? Oh, that's why that's a fact? Oh, okay, I get it. But in this case, if you've gotten to the point where you're willing to hear something like that and still defend the guy and still think, oh, he's right, I can't wait to buy his new book, Four Blood Moons, which probably again predicts end times or some shit, right? If you're still in that boat, after we show you that, hey, look, Pat Robertson, man, he said God told him Romney's going to win. He didn't, okay? Hey, look, man, John Hagee said uh, around uh, 2007, Jesus is coming back. He didn't, okay? If you still defend it after that, you're beyond help. You're not just ignorant. You're a fucking dunce.